Hello. At this exciting time in your life, you're thinking about what choice you're going to make when you leave school. It's a terribly exciting moment. It's a little bit scary in a way, and it must feel as if there's lots of possibilities. Well, I've been invited to talk to you about what I do, and so I'll show you around a little bit. My name is Angela Rossen, and I'm an artist. I paint nature. This is my studio. I work in the studio, but I also work in nature. In fact, I'm very lucky because I work with scientists. I work with scientists in three different research institutions. So I have the benefit of being with biologists of all stripes, botanists, zoologists. Working with scientists is really interesting because they are very passionate about what they do. They're a lot like artists. They're driven by curiosity and they want to discover things. So we have a lot in common. In the 10 years that I've worked with scientists, I've learned a great deal about how nature works, how ecosystems work, what our place is within the context of the natural and built environment. It's really important that we understand these changes that we've made to the biosphere by our, all of our clever building. We're amazingly clever creatures. We can invent all sorts of things and now's the time we need to invent ways to save nature. And that's why I'm talking to you today. Because I think one of the really, really good things that you can do with your life is either to become a scientist and discover nature, or become a teacher and teach others about nature, or be an artist and make beautiful paintings of nature so that other people will learn about it and want to take care of it. In my paintings, I'm really interested in the biodiversity and abundance within systems. So this is a painting of a reef, a temperate reef, and you see here I'm painting the sargassum, which is that kind of seaweed with little balls on it that pop. And the great thing about time lapse is it makes it look like it's really easy and happens really fast, but you can imagine this takes much longer than that. I'm particularly interested in the ocean, although I love all of nature, and I spend as much time as possible by the sea. This is a photo I took of something that's probably very familiar to you, even though you can't work out what it is immediately. But these are the tentacles of a Portuguese man of war. And isn't it incredible how they um, retract and extend? And you can imagine them doing this in the water. And you can also imagine that you wouldn't like to be stung by them because within those little curling bits are the nemastocysts that these animals shoot out when they're threatened or when they're hunting for food. So I have a really fun time discovering things on my own and with my scientific colleagues and I love to share this with children. I love showing children how to discover nature. I do all sorts of activities with schools, with groups of students, with kids and their families. And I'm just going to talk about a few of these different things, different projects that I do to give you some insights into how I operate. Nature is a system of plants and animals that rely on each other. And we're part of that system. And the thing that's interesting is we often forget that because we're so busy driving and sitting in air-conditioned rooms and but actually nature, this nature that's all about us is what we rely on. We couldn't survive without it. So it's our business to conserve and protect it. We need to slow down and recalibrate our relationship with nature and learn to treat it like a beloved member of the family. The best way to start doing that is to actually go into a natural place that's really beautiful and just look, look at the beautiful things, the plants, the animals, Observe them carefully, lovingly, with a loving eye, and record them. Now, these biodiversity surveys on the beach are a way of doing that. People gather together to take in their bit of nature and to understand it, make connections between the plants and the animals, and what lives where and who eats what. And it, look, it's like a treasure hunt. It's a really, really fun thing to do. I take children out into nature to teach them about all these wonders. And I take their families and we do drawing classes to discover and document the things that are in the natural systems around us. 
I go into schools and do fun projects with kids. We paint whole ecosystems together and we look at the details of nature, the plants from the ocean or from the waterways or the rivers or the arid lands. And this is a way I use many different disciplines. So the thing to think to yourself when you're choosing a profession is it's not going to be one straight thing that you do in your life. What you must have is an overarching idea of what you want to achieve. It's like taking a bicycle ride. Where do you want to get to? You want to get to the park. How are you going to get there? There's a whole lot of different ways that you can get there. My suggestion is that you think about how you can engage with nature, the natural world, and throw your energy into protecting and conserving those very systems upon which we rely for our survival. You might be innovating with science, chemistry, materials, or engineering, or perhaps you're a biologist documenting and recording what's happening in the natural world, or maybe you're a teacher inspiring other people. Whatever you do, do it with a fabulous energy. And good luck.